Hey, Physical Science. It's Monday, April 20th, and we are on page 494. We're going to start today by drawing another model of an atom. Let's go with a carbon atom that weighs 12. After that, we're going to draw a carbon atom that weighs 14, and we're going to look at the difference. Okay, by virtue of being a carbon atom, which element is it on the periodic table? Element number six. The elements on the table are arranged in order of the number of protons in the nucleus. Okay, so that's called the atomic number. Page 495. The number of protons in an atom's nucleus is equal to its atomic number. So then what's the mass number? It's on 495 also. It's the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons in the nucleus. So the atomic number is protons. The mass number is protons plus neutrons. Well, that's nice. Then how many electrons? The number of electrons will equal the number of protons because electrons are negative and protons are positive, And you need the one to balance the other because we're going to draw neutral atoms. OK, so that makes sense to me. Let's go ahead and draw the six protons. That's element number six. And then here it's still element number six. So let's draw those six protons. And draw them again. This is the nucleus that we're drawing. This is a model of the atom. Now, <clears throat> this is called mass number. This is called mass number. This is called atomic number. And this is called atomic number. Now, you know what the difference is between the mass number and the atomic number? The number of neutrons. Because if all the particles in the nucleus, there's the nucleus, add up to 12, and six of them, and where do we get the six? We got it right off the table, right there. By virtue of being carbon, it has six protons, not five and not seven, always six. Okay, and 12 minus six is six. We call those neutrons. I don't give them any charge because they have no charge. They just have mass. They're just like fat, you know? They just make you heavy, don't give you any zinc. Okay. So if the mass number, the number of particles in the nucleus is 12, and six of them are protons, that means the other six would be neutrons. Well, what about this one? What's 14 minus 6? 14 minus 6 is 8. So this one, I'm calling a little fluffier, a little fluffier carbon. And this one's a little skinnier carbon. All right. This one, the nucleus is, it has more weight, has more mass because it has more neutrons. Not because it has more protons, because they have the same number of protons because they're both carbon atoms. Now, how many electrons are gonna, am I going to put out? I'm going to put out six electrons because it needs to balance out six protons. And only room for two on the first energy level. 
And the other four are going to go on the second energy level. Energy levels are like shells of a refrigerator. You know, where you put your mustard and your relish and that kind of thing. And so where do you scatter them out? It really doesn't matter. I just kind of evenly spread them out because they're all negative. They're all repelling one another. And so I kind of evenly spread them out on that second energy level and that first energy level. And you wonder if the ring is supposed to be lopsided. No, just because my it's my lousy drawing. So that's a model of the carbon-14 atom. That's a car model of the carbon-12 atom. And those atoms are what we call isotopes of one another. Go over to page 496. Isotopes are atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons. These are isotopes of carbon. So is carbon 13 also an isotope of carbon. How do I make this into carbon 13? Well, that's easy. Watch. No chunk. Carbon 13. How do I make this into carbon 13? Well, that's easy. Watch. Plop. Do you see that atoms of the same element that have different numbers of neutrons are isotopes of that element? Now, what is average atomic mass? You know what atomic number is, the number of protons in the nucleus. You know what mass number is, it's the, it's the total of all particles in the nucleus, protons and neutrons. But what is this average atomic mass? Well, that is the weighted average of all of the mass numbers of that element in the universe. Now, are all carbon atoms in the universe carbon 12s, skinny carbons? Are all atoms in the universe of carbon, carbon 14? No. And are some of them carbon 13? Yeah. So what if you take all the 12s, all the 13s, and all the 14s, and you can predict that based upon a, a sample a random sample, a statistically honest sample. And you can say, this is the weighted average of all the isotopes of carbon. What would the average weight of a carbon atom be? And the answer is right there on the periodic table. And you can see the big number on the left hand. It's not an even number. It is 12.011. What is 12.011? It is what we call the average atomic mass. Is it 12? No. Is it 13? No. Is it 14? No. It's not a mass number. A mass number is always a whole number. It represents a specific atom. This is just all the average of all the atoms in the universe. There is no atom in the universe that has 12.011 particles in the nucleus. There is no atom in the universe that has 11 one thousandths, 11 thousandths of a neutron. It's either got 12, uh, you know, it's either got a total of 12 or a total of 13 or a total of 14 particles in the nucleus, but you can't have 11 thousandths of a particle. Otherwise, it's not a, it's not a particle. It's kind of like saying you can't have 11 thousandths of me. 
just my finger. You got to have all of me or you don't have any of me. So this is just an average. There's no atom that weighs that. By the way, all the way to the atom is in the nucleus. These electrons are just energy. They do have mass, but they're like one eighteen hundredth the mass of a proton or a neutron. This is long enough. Talk to you more, more about it. 